So, so gasification is something you're going to hear a lot more about, and it's it's mainly because there's money in waste. And so if you can turn, if you can take an income from waste and convert it into something useful and sell it, you basically get paid twice for it. You get paid to take it off someone else's hands and then get paid to use it. And there's three forms of waste that I'm really keen on. One is wood waste. The other is biosolids. Biosolids as, com as uh, fertilizer is a great long-term venture. And the third one is um, grape mark. Grape mark can be turned into ethanol. And eventually I'd like to do that. But this stage um, of the development is like the second prototype, well, the, a, a, a modification of the first prototype, we'll call it the second prototype, that it's really designed as a, just as a, um, a test bed. Um, and I've been working on this for about five years now, the last three years kind of more focusing on the charcoal side of things. Um, and what we're going to do today, rather than go through the whole details, we'll just explain what happens very briefly and then get it going, because the rain's going to come down. Um, but essentially, we're turning charcoal into fuel. Um, and we're doing that by, um, by passing air through it that then turns the charcoal into carbon monoxide. It takes the moisture out of the air, which will be a lot of shortly, and also the moisture out of the um, charcoal and turns that into hydrogen and oxygen, breaks it down. And it does it inside the reactor at about uh, 1,200 degrees centigrade. Um, so we'll just get it going shortly. And so I'll take you through the process. So first of all, we have to lock it down. We've got a blow-off valve here, so if it does explode, I'm in the, the firing range, not you guys. How different is the process from uh, what they used to do like uh, at the coal gasification plant? Very similar. And it's very similar to World War II when there were over a million cars driven this way uh, with wood gas um, uh, reactors on the back of the cars. See, the good thing about this is if... These have been made out of propane tanks, okay? This could power a house. So if you can produce enough charcoal, you can power your house from this. You don't need $40,000 worth of solar panels or whatnot. Um, I've part, part developed a charcoal system that's pretty effective. The next stage is to have a charcoal system that's pretty effective that also heats your water. Then you're starting to have a, an integrated uh, system that will both power and heat your house. But just because I didn't know this, um, charcoal, at least the form that we'll be using here, is made entirely from waste wood. Um, it's, it's not a coal, which I had thought it was. It's not rainforest. <laughs> it's just, just charcoal. It's, it's wood that's uh, been superheated in the absence of oxygen, goes through a process to, to create charcoal. Okay, first of all, we have to just preload a little bit of charcoal in here to get it started. And then we're going to light up. And um, now what happens next is we put the, the blowers on to suck out the air that we're going to ignite. So the, the air is now going into the reactor, through the reactor, out the other side, and through that filter, and then out through this um, flare. It's, it's turning the charcoal when it, once it's got hot, it's turning it into carbon monoxide, about 30%, 15% hydrogen, and a couple of percent methane plus nitrogen. Okay, so now it's, it's lit, simple as that. It's going to take a little while to get going. Once we can get a flare from here, we know we've got good enough gas to drive the uh, motor. So it's just a matter of waiting a few minutes. Okay, so the, the air's going on that side. You can see that should be starting to get white hot. Once it gets white hot, it's getting interesting. Uh, the first propane tank is a, um, a centrifuge to, to reduce the larger particles out of the system. The second propane tank has filters in it. It has um, sawdust as the lower filter, 
and then uh, foam as the upper filter. Um, later on, I'll have three tanks, um, but currently it's just a couple. So you can start to see some decent gas coming out. So we're going to reduce the volume a little bit. That's OK. <laughs> okay. OK, and we're going to see if we can get a flare. Once you get a flare, you know the gas is the right. You can start to, start to see some gas um, being burnt off. Not ready quite yet. You can see how there's more gas now igniting, getting a bit. See the, the, the flare coming out the top now? It's not far away. Very close. Can you catch that flare on the video? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's nearly, see it's, see it's, it's nearly self going now. I think the wind's blowing it out more than anything. Okay, so now we're gonna preload the second filter and wait for it to go through the second filter and then we'll try it and start the machine on it. There's a whole lot of research I've still gotta do charcoal size relative to the power of the machine and also the filter um, refinement. Okay, we're starting to see the filter. So now the gas is going through into that filter, around that filter, up through this one and out that way. Okay. How's that? Pretty cool. So we know, it, we know we've got a really good gas there. Okay. So now we switch it off, and instead of going into the filter, into the um, flare, it's going to go into the engine. So I've just got to take this off so I can see what I'm doing. And this is the moment of truth, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're blocking it off there. We're turning that off. Okay, and there should be some flames coming out here in due course. Okay, and we're going to try and see if we can get you get a go. Yeah. No petrol tank. She's running on charcoal. It's no use saying anymore because you won't hear me anyway. No, okay.